Hello everyone and welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. If you're new here, my name is Sofia. And yesterday we are starting a new weekly reading vlog. It is Monday, 16th August. I normally start my weekly reading vlogs on a Sunday, but because I did the 24-hour readathon, I was too tired to keep reading, so I just stopped. I'm really excited for this week's video because my sister actually picked my books. I had her choose between my TBR books and she mainly decided by the cover because she doesn't know what the books are about, she's not into reading. But I will leave the clip with my sister so you can see how that went. Don't sit Man. down here. Come here. Yes, come here. No, here with me. Oh. Don't poo or pee, okay? Okay, please. Oh my god. I will. Oh. I'm sorry. I, today's vlog, oh. my sister ha. is gonna pick one or two books. I don't have any makeup. Oh. Hi. What's wrong? You wanna come here? Come. Here, little taggy. Okay, so my sister is gonna <laughs> choose one or two books for me to read this week. Okay. Um, what do you want to choose? Like, do you have any but, plans for me? But, but, but. I will tell you which ones I haven't read. Do I have any option? Like, yeah, like all of these I haven't okay. read. What is he eating? I don't know. Come here! He's a bit lost. He's never been here. So you have between all of these. Uh, there's so many here that I haven't read, so anything that Can I choose right now? Yeah. Okay, are you gonna choose from here? Yeah. Okay. Those are all I have. These and these. How many? Two or three, whatever. There's some in there that I haven't read as well. Why mm. my dog is like that? It's kind of resting. Did you? You take another one. I oh don't know. This is not being a fair game. I cannot choose the ones that I like. I just took two because I don't want to read them. Maybe he wants to go out. First of all, you are gonna sew on for yes, videos. Please. Be careful. Here. Be careful. Hey, he's so gorgeous. He's so beautiful. Say hi to the people. Hi, everyone. Hi. hi. Okay, bye. The green one is a cool one, actually. I like the color. I like the. Ooh, I like those thingy. I want to just. No, I don't like this. Not studying Italy, I think. No, because I like this one. Just for the cover. There's I more. will go with this. What, what else do we okay, have? Let me, let me. So here, I haven't read this two. This one. <gasps> that yes. one? Yes. Okay, wait. This one I haven't read. No. And this two I haven't read. Starfish. Oh my god. Peace. This one? I really love this book. Okay. I like that one. The Kingdom of the Back? Yeah, this is gonna be in. So, if you have to choose two, these two, right? Yeah, probably those two. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna be good for you, if you're gonna like them, but sorry, you. Can you do a thumbnail? Wait, come close. Thank you, Liz. These are all for today. You wanna say something? I'm starting to read Eden with the Edens with us. Edens with us? You want it? I have it on the. Oh. You want it? Is it in English? Yes. Okay. You can have it. Okay, cool. I'm starting reading. It. It's new. I haven't read it. I Did mean, you? I read it once. So this one's really good, right? That one? No. This one? Take your hand out of my pocket if you said I'm copying. And I let you know. I hope you don't cry. Why? You want a bookmark? Oh. New design just oh, for you. Oh, yes. Oh, don't show them. They, oh. they are new. Okay. Bye. They are top secret. Bye bye, Mary. Thank you for helping me choose. Thank you. It was a process to get her to choose. At the end, she picked two books. The first one was The Guild of Walls by. Roshani Chokshi, Chokshi, Chokshi. <laughs> the other one that she picked was The Kingdom of Back by Mary Lou. And the other two books that I'm picking are Sorcery of Thorns. And then also I want to finish the IVs because I'm in the middle of it. And 
I couldn't finish it last week. We are in the middle of a heat wave, so I'm literally sweating. <laughs> last week the temperature went really really high, it was like 40 degrees to 45. I hope in this week will be a little bit more chilled, because I cannot take that heat. If you live in a place where it's normally really hot, you understand. How unbearable is it? Like you cannot go outside. So I want to update my reading journal. I might be thinking of making journal videos again. I've been fixed on uploading regular reading blogs. I kind of remember that I really love making journal videos. If you're in for that, let me know if you like seeing other people reading journal and bullet journals. I don't have much to say. <laughs> do a reading update. It is Tuesday and I've been reading a few books. I made quite a big progress in the Ivies. I'm on page 190 so I have about this much left and I'm really enjoying it. I don't think I've said what this book is about in this vlog yet. It's about this group of five girls and every single one of them wants to get into a different Ivy university. The queen bee of the group, which is called Ivory, has decided what each girl has to do and which university they have to go. Like she chooses the extracurriculars and the, you know, the things they have to do to get to those school. They have done quite terrible things to get into this university, like kicking other students out or just making them a failed test and stuff like that and one day one of those girls is found murder the main character is olivia which we could say out of the five of them she's the nicest one throughout the book you discover that she didn't really know what the other girls were doing and the girls were doing pretty terrible stuff like just so they could get their spot on the university they wanted and olivia just discovers that she doesn't really know her friends and that their friends aren't really their friends. She's in this prestigious school on a scholarship. So even if she tries to fit in like the other girls which are rich, kind of see through her and she's she's the nicest. Let's just put it that way. In the beginning of the book, we discover that Olivia actually doesn't want to go to Penn, which is the university she like Avery has chosen for her. She applies to Harper, which is Avery's the Queen's Bee University of Choice, and she gets in. It's really interesting because everyone has a motive right now. I don't really know who could do it. I think it was one of the teachers. There's also a video of romance in here which I'm really really enjoying it actually. It just give it like a touch to the book. Overall it's just being like a nice murder mystery to read. It's pretty entertaining. I'm gonna leave this book for next week. I read 10 pages of it and I was really 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 liking it and I decided just to leave it for next week because I'm really an up few books and I want to enjoy the at his foot potential so I'm leaving this for next week but I did start the other book that my sister picked which is The Kingdom of Back by Mary Lou. Mary Lou is one of my favorite writers I've read the Jungle Lights books and they were one of my favorites and this is super good so far I've only read like 25 pages and I already decided to annotate it because I know I'm going to love it the first page there's this quote that already made me fall in love with it. This book is about Mozart's sisters. You know, Mozart is a really famous musician that we all know. But this story is about his sister and how she was forgotten from history. So here they are comparing Mozart and her and she's saying he was here and then gone. A brief, brilliant shard of life. A flash of stardust that ignited the sky. She is not the stardust, but the steady weak, the one who burns low and quiet. 
You do not see her by the way she lights up the sky, but by the way she steadies herself against the darkness, alone, at night, beside a window while the world sleeps around her. Uh, the little I read, she was a really gifted musician, but she could see it. ever since her little brother started playing with music that she he actually was going to be the prodigy. And she has said that she wants to be remembered and one of her fears is being forgotten. There's also this really good quote that says, help me, be she's making a wish and she says, help me be worthy, worthy of praise of being loved and remembered, worthy of attention when I buried my heart at the club year, worthy enough for my music to linger long after I was one, worthy of my father, make them remember me. And throughout this music, she could go to this fictional place called the Kingdom of Back. And so far she has only seen it in a dream and then some flowers have appeared when she plays. It seems like it's magical realism which I adore, and it's Mary Lou. Mary Lou writing is just perfect. I love her. I don't know why I haven't read more of her books, but after these, I might pick up the Legend series, even if it's a really old series, but lots of people love it. I think most of you probably have read it, and I definitely want to pick that one up. And then I started the audiobooks for Sorcery of Thorns. I'm only like 20 pages in as well, but I'm really loving the setting. It's set in a library and I think they are like wardens of the library and inside of it there's these monsters and she's an apprentice right now. People have told me that the beginning is a bit slow uh, so I'm a bit worried but I picked up the audiobook so it should be totally fine. I want to point out some dedication as well so this one says for all the girls who found themselves in books which i feel that's so powerful the, the yellow wolves it says for a man who said say something cool about me nope <laughs> that's one of the funniest dedications i've ever seen <gasps> oh, the yellow wolves got me <laughs> I haven't done much either. You saw that I had to reorganize my bookshelf as I had to give up the other one for storage. Let me show you. So, <laughs> you see this bookshelf? I had to give it up for storage purposes as this room is also my Etsy shop a studio and I just needed a place because I'm having an update soon. Uh, but yeah, I reorganized the whole bookshelf and I also put some books to a hole. Mainly Spanish books, but <laughs> um, I'm gonna keep reading. I'm actually in a really good reading mood. Um, yes. <laughs> it's Wednesday and I've read nothing, so might as well get some reading done. A few clips ago I organized that bookshelf but now I have this card here that I actually don't like right now on top of here I have my TBR and then there are just books to unhaul but I might take my card up to my room and then I will leave here a bit of a space so I can maybe bring back down my sofa so I can read here so I think I'm gonna do that this card should go away, but I want to keep my TBR with me. So, <laughs> oh gosh. I'm gonna put the Beautiful Creature series because I'm not gonna read it, but it's one of my favorites. I think it holds value. Um, I'm gonna take these two as well. Okay, I'm gonna take these strange to dreamer ones and also I'm also putting this set because I don't read them anymore. I'm moved it upstairs. So you think I'm gonna put it here? I wanna do like a plant corner here and it looks really good with the books and the little plants. I will want to get more, but right now I think it looks cute. And in there is my TBR. Yeah, we can do polls for like choose between two we like. We can do like I can send maybe a text now. Mm -hmm. No, I can't. I can't. I'm not free that. <laughs> Imagine if it becomes our all-time favorite. 
That would be no. so yeah. funny. Actually, I want to read it now just because of the jokes. I want to see if it's actually yeah. good. Me too. Yeah. I'm on page 212 of the IVs, and she's finally putting those fake ass friends at their place. They're getting what they deserve. She's like bringing all the dirt to the game. I love when characters get what they deserve. I just realized the freaking coronavirus is mentioned here. Like they just talked, a lot of classes were canceled during quarantine and they were talking about essays and they said one guy wrote it about how he went on TikTok while on quarantine and discovered something on TikTok. Like I know it was 2021 because it's a new release but whoa. I was expecting COVID to be in a book <laughs> so soon. <laughs> I just realized I have an update you today on the reads and tomorrow is the last day of the vlog. Yesterday, I finished the IVs and let me tell you, it was a good thriller, but for me, it had an unsatisfying ending. Pretty realistic ending as well. If this happened in real life, probably that's the ending that would have happened. I was surprised by who did it. It's so hard talking about mysteries because I don't want to like break it to anyone if you want to read it, so I won't say much. Overall, I think I'm gonna commit three and a half stars. It doesn't really over thrones or even come close to a good girl's guide to murder but it's still a really really fast read and if you're new to murder thrillers I think you will really like this one. And then I made it to page 100 of The King of the Back and I'm really really enjoying it. I think it's the perfect book that I needed to get back into fantasy because it has all those fantasy elements but because it's magical realism it isn't like as immersive as a high fantasy book. The story circles a lot on the main girl wanted to be known for someone and not wanted to be forgotten as she says in the beginning of the book and also about jealousy because now his little brother is better than her at music and she knows she's definitely going to be forgotten but something tells me that the kingdom of the back this magical place or real place magical realism <laughs> that she's envisioning is going to have a big part on her acknowledging that she's going to be forgotten in the real world but she's gonna probably leave um her print in another world like you know the back the magical realism parts of the story are just like they hack you when you read them like it instantly switches the mood between the real thing and she being in like vienna and her home to this magical kingdom that she goes to and i just love it i love that the flower in this place are edelweisses i love the flowers i love that song my dad loves that song i do believe this could be a new favorite read Hello, this is gonna be the last update of this vlog. As I said yesterday, I wanted to finish the Kingdom of Back, but I couldn't. I'm currently on page 200. I was really, really sleepy yesterday and I did not finish it. I know why I'm really liking this book. Two of my favorite books are Peter Pan and The Young Alights by the same author as this book. The reason why The Young Alights is one of my favorites is both because the main character is the villain in the story and the folklore around the series and how in the last book 
uh, the story of the main girl kind of becomes folklore in that world and that's pretty much in here in this one Nanarl, i don't know if i pronounced that name right it's a really weird name she's called Mar maria Anne, but they call her Nanarl. she is creating the story of the king of the pack so a lot of the book is her explaining the world why everything is upside down why there's two moons why the sun disappear and why this other main character he wants to become king again so she kind of makes up the folklore around the king of the bag it also gives me really big peter pan vibes the girl in the real world needs to behave a certain way because this is at 1760 or something like that she needs to behave like the woman at that time she cannot compose the music she really wants to compose and she needs to pretty much behave around everyone but she's still a child and when she's in the kingdom of the bag you can really see that she is still a child and she shouldn't have this pressure that woman had at this time to be perfect and just be husband material i also love the commentary of that in the book i want to see how the jealousy with her brother continues because right now he she is jealous of him but he is also the only reason why she can play music and compose uh, music as well so i just want to see how that goes but as i said i can tell it's gonna be a favorite depending on what it's like because right now i'm half into the book and nothing much has happened so it's pretty much about grinding and it's giving me also a lot of strange to dreamer vibes so more for a younger audience my sister picked a good one if you're watching these since <laughs> Um, I'm really enjoying it and I will read the other one next week. I wanted to say that I decided to do a YouTube schedule. I will upload all my weekly reading vlogs on Sunday or normal vlogs depending on what I'm filming that week and then extra videos either Tuesday or Wednesdays. Not every week though, just when I have time to film like an extra book haul or grab up or recommending you books, those will be up on Tuesday or Wednesday. I want to be more consistent with you though next week there will be a book haul uploaded on sunday right now i'm filming these and uploading the video at the same time so i want to leave like a week in between so i can edit and don't have to end my vlogs in the middle of sunday and i can just read the whole day and then start another weekly video vlog i really hope you enjoy it tell me in the comments what you read this week or if you have read any of these books and you like them i pretty much enjoyed it it was a really good reading week if you want to keep updated with my reads i have a good reads we can be friends there i also have a bookstagram where i upload every day as well as an etsy shop and there's new things going up on monday so if you want to go check them out i also have an instagram account for the etsy shop there's a big announcement on tuesday that i'm really excited i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye